All right, Aries, if you guys could please like and subscribe. If you would like a personal, all that information will be in the description below. And thank you for your donations, guys. I really do appreciate it. Okay, what do we have for Aries at the foundation, please? Okay, let's see what we got here. Nine of Wands, Sag Energy at the Foundation. Will we look at that? Sag Energy showing up in Aries reading. Can you imagine that, huh? Page of Cups, Water Energy at the Sacral. It's a little stinky fish in a cup right there. Okay, this is somebody saying no. This is somebody finally saying no. Or saying no, I don't know if it's their last time, but based off this Nine of Wands it is. Um, let's see here though. What do we have the Solar Plexus? It's the it's the eternal battle of Sag and Aries. Never ends. Okay, what do we have at the solar plexus? And if you're new to my channel, then I'm saying that because they always show up in each other's readings. It's just non-freaking-stop. Okay, what do we have at the solar plexus? I just saw the Six of Cups. So it's like an energy trying to use the fact that they're pa oh there it is again. It's an energy trying to use this past life connection or soulmate connection to keep them tethered together. Right? We're soulmates. We're twin flames. Right? It doesn't matter if we treat each other like crap and we're trapped in hell together. It just doesn't matter because we love each other forever. It's just a really really low vibrational demonic energy and it's nothing but a demon sent straight from the pits of hell. That's it. Okay. Four of Wands. A Knight of Swords in reverse. So, this is a very, very cruel person you're dealing with, Aries. Or take this as it fits. It can go any which way. This could be even somebody you know. Um, so don't kill the messenger here. But this is a very, very cruel person who is just keeping somebody trapped inside some sort of karmic cycle that's very, very abusive. Um, and they're creating illusions around this, too. I don't know what this is here about this. I feel like this Four of Wands is talking to me about, like, this... Um, these are, like, all the excuses. I'm getting that Four of Wands is representing, like, excuses. Like, no, 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 but... We love each other. We've been together for so long. Let's just stay together. It's just an energy of, um, well, it's confusion. I feel confused by this energy. It's somebody that abuses you, right? King of Wands in reverse. Wow. A oh, bully, right? This is somebody who's just, ugh. Tries to use their good looks to keep somebody. Knight of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. Uh, okay, what do we have at the, this energy is just uh, really weird. Eight of Swords, yeah. See, the problem is here, Aries, anybody who stays in this situation at this point, after going through this cycle this many times, right? What, nine times? Nine of Wands, right? They're here they are, standing, getting ready to go through the tenth one, or thinking they're not going to, or trying not to, right? But then this hoodwinking, bamboozling energy comes through right here to try and convince them that they should take another try, right? So anybody who does this to themselves at this point is creating a self-imposed prison, Gemini energy. This is self-imposed abuse that this person is allowing themselves to constantly go through at this point. There's no one to blame but themselves. Okay, what do we have at the foundation? Wow. This guy's been coming up a lot. Nine of Wands again, stacked with the Nine of Wands. Right, this is a self-imposed prison of somebody who keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again. Right, this is somebody who's trapped in this like paranoid schizophrenic energy and I feel like it's the person they're dealing with this is really weird it's like this person's projecting their uh their mental sicknesses onto this other person and making them feel like they're the one that has the mental sickness this is a really low vibrational energy I'm picking up here very very low Marchosius five of wands I just got five of wands um in the Taurus reading, right? 
So five of wands. This is an energy right here. This is like five of wands. Um, well, it can be upright or reverse, but it's an energy that makes out like everything is harmonious and everything is, we're solving the problems and everything's going to be fine. But no, this is an energy of obstacles. This person is this person's worst enemy. It's like this person realizes the person they're with is their worst enemy, so they keep them trapped in an illusion, right, to torture them because they realize it's their worst enemy. This person's probably doing all sorts of stuff behind this person's back. Right, this person definitely subscribes to the saying, keep your enemies close, right? Well, it's a little too close. This person, like, moved them in, got married to them, and decided to keep them trapped in the house where they go around and do whatever the hell they want. This sort of energy, this is a very, very, very sick individual. Three of Wands, Vool. Right, it's an energy that wants to keep this person in a constant uh, karmic cycle of delays and setback. Setbacks, right? Yeah, look at this. Procures the love of a woman. Tells of things past, present, and future. Builds love between friends and enemies. Wow, that just goes along exactly with what I was just saying. Let's get one more from this demon tarot deck, huh? All right, what do we have at the heart position? Heart position. Page of Cups, God. This guy's been coming out a lot, too. See, like, this is somebody who's never showing their hands. So there's something weird going on with their hands, right? And I always say, somebody who hides their hands while they're talking to you like that, puts their hands behind their back like they're important, this is somebody you cannot trust. Okay, look at this person's hands and see what they do with their hands, right? Maybe they're overly expressive like this all the time with their hands, right? But they do it in front of your face. It's, an, it's a distraction, Okay, what do we have at the um, throat position? Actually, let's switch to the angel tarot. Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is uh, Pisces energy. This is all about walking away, right? Transformation gives consolation and adversity. This is an energy here realizing that there was literally nothing ever in that cup. Not even the stinky fish, right? They did, The stinky fish wasn't even in there. They didn't even give you that. It's how cheap this person is, right? This person here is starting to realize, or I feel like they've been realizing this for a long time, Aries, that this is, uh, they've been bamboozled here. This has been a full-on bamboozling. Bamboozling of the largest proportions, I would say. This is somebody who's trapped inside a, a low vibrational energetic prison by agents of the devil. Three of Pentacles at the third eye. So this is a this is an energy of this is a collaborative energy, okay, that I feel like this person has been having with a, a higher vibrational entity. So now um, let's say this person's been going inward to communicate with the divine to have all this illuminated to them. So I feel like this person is thinking about making movement forward, but I'm not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it. I feel like this is a description of somebody of what this person's in. I think they've Oh, okay, right. This here is telling me that this person knows exactly what they're in, but they're still there. Wow. The tower. There's your energy, Aries. Right? And see, whenever I see this card, it's like this angel's getting this message from the divine. The divine's like, hey, this is what you've been a part of. And this energy is like, oh my God, I cannot believe it. Right? And they're so pissed off and angry. But rather than, rather than create like more of a mess... Say by like, well, this is, let me, let me rephrase that because this is the tower, right? This is the biggest mess there is. They just get themselves to a point where they can just up level past everything. All of this low vibrational energy without having to say a word. The fire of God, disruption, warns of disasters, aids in transformation. So this is an energy of this person getting a message from the divine that the divine is about to bring in a tower to get them out of this energy. Whew. All right, Aries. Well, 
like I said, this could be for you. This could be for somebody else you know. Don't kill the messenger. Okay, I'm just delivering the message here. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe again if you want a personal reading. All that information will be in the description below. And thank you for your donations, guys. Take care.